ki siyo Bible. Kanda be ku Bible yo. Buli muntu wanika ku Bible yo. Everyone raise up your Bible. Apo luganda na fetu ina masimu. We also have phones brethren. Eh. Hey. Tu ina masimu. We also have phones. Naye omuntu yandi bade ne Bible yediba. But a person needs to have a, a, a physical Bible. For reasons I can't explain to you here. There is something about owning a Bible. What you can you have it on the phone. I have a, a phone. I have a, a. I have Bibles everywhere. You know Bibles everywhere. But I also have many, many of these. And as a, as you can see, I, I read and I write in my Bible. And I I paint and color and. and uh, just enjoy my Bible. So you should have something like this. Sometimes I read and I make side notes and, and I even put dates when I wrote and, and the, the revelation I got from the lines of the scriptures. But anyway, um, Isaiah 53 Verse 1. The Bible says, Who has believed our report? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he, was, for he shall grow up before him as a tender plant. As a root out of dry ground. He has no form or comeliness. And when we see him, there is no beauty that we should desire. He, he is despised and rejected by men. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. We hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we did not even we did not esteem him. If you own your Bible, I want you to underline in verse 4. Surely he has borne our griefs. And carried our, our sorrows. And yet we esteem him stricken and smitten by God and, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Verse, verse 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we were healed. Tinae ya fumi tiboro kusobi ya kwafe, ya bete ntiboro butari butu kirivu wafe, okubone rezebu okwe mirembe, okwe mirembe jafe, kwa aliku ye, ere migoje jejitu wonya. Oh, we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before the shearers, he is silent, so he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who would declare his generation? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgressions of my people was strict. For the transgressions of my people, he was stricken. And they made his grave with the wicked, but with the rich at his death, because has done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. Nebamuzi Kirawamu Nababi, Nababi, Era Nabagaga, Mukofakwe. 
ne wankubadenga ta ne wankubadenga tajiranga chejo songa temuli mu temuli bukusa mukamwake yet it pleased the lord to bruise him he has put him to grief when you make his soul an offering for sin he shall see his seed he shall prolong his days and the pressure of the lord shall prosper in his hand ndinaye mukama ya simo kubetent okumubetenta amunaku waziza bwofulango bwofulango obulamu bwe okuba ekiwebwayo olwechibi he shall see the labor of his soul and be satisfied by his knowledge my righteous servant shall justify many for he shall bear their iniquities alira bakwebye biva mukulumu mukulumwa kuobula mubwe era biri mula biri biri mumala oluo kumanya omuwereza wange omutukirivu aliwe sabanje obutukirivu era alieti era alieti ka obutali butukirivu bwabwe the lafo I will divide him a portion with the great and he shall divide the spoil with the strong because he poured out his soul unto death and he, has num he was numbered with the transgressors and he bore the sin of many and made transgression for the transgressors chendiva mugabiro omugabo omugabo wamuna abakuru era aligereke era aligerekera omunyago wamuna abamanyi kubanga yafuko obulamu bwe okutusa kukufa nabalira wamuna abasobya nabalira wamuna abasobya naye yetike ebibi ekibi kyabanji era yawolereza abasobya amen i want to talk to you about god the judge ndakogerako nawe kukatonda omulamuzi last sunday we talked about god the father glitwa yogera kukatonda tata but i want to talk to you about the god the judge nenda yakogerako nawe kukatonda omulamuzi the bible says his foundation the throne of his foundation is built on two foundation justice and truth Bible gamanti entebe yo bufuzi ezimbidwa ku misinje ebiri justice obwenkanya god is a just god katonda ye katonda omwenkanya justice obwenkanya is when you pay we when you when, when you take the judgment no kirize bikusalidwa and honestly pass those judgments without without with fairness kwe kusala omusango na mazima paying everyone what they deserve ngabuli omwo omusasula ngabwagwani are you following me church ogobera bulungi kanisa okusalom bible government a salom musango gwensonga the bible says he judges uh, is a righteous, righteous judge, judge. Yes. Uh, ye musazi wo musango gwensonga eyo luganda bwigamba okusalom musango gwensonga uh, kwe kusasula buli muntu ngempera yebweri it means paying someone as his reward is bible yetugamba mbalumi mukaga abili musatu the bible tells us in romans 6 verse ngempera yechibi kwe kufa that the wages of sin is death balumi satu abili musatu egamba romans 10:23 says no, 3:23 bible gamba ntu mubalumi satu abili musatu egamba the bible says in romans 3:23 ndifena twayo none nitutatoka kuchitiwa che that all have sinned and run short of the glory of God. all of us seated here and even us who are standing here. every soul that sins has to die are you following me brother god is a right is a judge. you have to pay for every sin that you have ever committed and every sin you will ever commit you have to pay for it god never lies when he says that i will punish the evil man and every sin will be paid for every kind of your sin has to be paid for even my sin has to be paid Mungo bere abo luganda. Are you following me? Katonda ye musazi wo musango gwa mazima. God is the righteous judge. Tasaliriza. He never he never, kubira, he never he is he is he is fair. Wa mazima. He is just. Wa mazima. Ate mwenkanya. Tawairiza. Wow. <laughs> And he does not does not bear false testimony. Yes, or he does not accuse. Talioliyoma. Lero 
Today many people are in, are in prison because they, they, they are given false testimony. But God is the righteous judge. Whoever God, God puts in a prison, he did it. They cannot give false testimony before heaven. People can give false God testimony. God can never bring a false accusation against you. But every transgression, every sin, is, should be paid for according to the justice of God. So justice is payment for what you deserve. Are we all sinners? Are we all sinners? According to Romans 3.23 All sin and fallen short of the glory of God. But this is how it works. When God looked if you, if you read your Bible and you look for, 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 the, for the story salvation. This is what the Bible says. Heaven sat and asked themselves who is going for us. Jesus, Jesus rose up his hand and said all those people need to die we all sinned brother. But according to the scripture I've just read for you. Isaiah saw it. He saw the story of our forgiveness and salvation. And I'm here to tell you brethren. The problem for a person. The biggest problem for a person is sin. Or humanity. The biggest problem for humanity is sin. Chibi. Sin. Awatari chibi. Where, where there is no sin, there was no death. Where there was no death, no sin, there were no diseases. Without sin, there were no poverty. Go back and read Genesis chapter 1 and chapter 2. Bible the Bible says Adam and the wife were in the garden. And God had put whatever they needed. There was no virus. There was no germs. There, was no, there were no mosquitoes that came malaria. The first two chapters in Genesis. There is no sin. And therefore where there is no sin. There is no sickness. There is no poverty. There is no death. I'm mentioning the biggest four problems for humanity. Every government, government all over the world, they are trying to solve these two problems, poverty and sickness, providing Medicare for everyone, improving lives from poverty, from below poverty line to upper class or middle class, every nation. But you cannot address those two without addressing the root cause which is sin. There is no sin whenever you see people die. People, whenever you see people sin, don't look for where those two things come from. Sin is what brought. When you take away sin, that's the beginning of life. Are you following me, brother? So, the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 53, let's go back and read verse He was despised and rejected by men. A man of sorrows acquainted with grief and we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we did not esteem him. Have you read the four Gospels? You realize that the, the, the report that Isaiah is giving about the life of Christ is very true. That when he came, 
Even the people that saw him, they did not esteem him. They, they hid their face from him. They had nothing to do with him because of his appearance. He is the Bible calls him a man of sorrow. And people hid their faces from him. In other words, he was only welcomed by very few that God revealed him to. And you remember where he was born? The Bible says there was no place for him to be born, so he was put in the manger. And that's how he grew. A man despised. But verse 4. Surely he was born, he has borne our griefs. And carried our sorrows. And yet we esteemed him stricken and smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The judgment for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we were healed. So I want you to draw a picture of God the judge that must judge every small thing called sin. And we all stand him as guilty as we as they come. There is no excuse. All of us are sinful. And the wages of sin is death. Not this just death where they put you in the grave. But eternal condemnation. Being cast in the lake of fire that burns with fire and ending. This is our problem for every humanity. Every person is a sinner. We are in a week when we are remembering the death and resurrection of Jesus. Because this is where hope for everyone is. Where they are, wherever they are. Yes, yes, Jesus is the hope. Because God got all our sorrows. All our sorrows. All our tears. And all the, the condemnation of everyone and, carried, and put it on him. That's why when John saw him, he never called him by name. He said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the earth. Do you remember the, the Passover festival? When the Israelites were to, to cross over from the, the Lord told them everyone should get a lamb that is blameless. And, it. and smear the blood of that, of that lamb on, on, on every doorpost. Then they should. He told them to smoke the, to smoke the, the, the beef. The then they also get sour herb and eat that, that, that meat when they are standing when it is sour and they are using they are it sour herbs and he said every house should make sure that all the meat has been eaten and finished and he told them, he told them if you are few please uh, go to another house and make one uh, slaughter one lamb smear the blood on the deposits on the windows and the deposits so as you follow it as uh, no uh, smearing blood no on the deposits 
No one wants up, down, and, and sideways. When you make lines like this, you get a cross The children of, of, of Israel made a cross of blood, and they never knew what they were doing. Then the Lord told them, when the angel of death is passing at night, if I see blood, I will pass over you. And the Bible confirms that that night all the firstborns in Egypt died. But in the children of Israel, whoever had put blood of a blameless lamb and the following day it was the salvation for the children of Israel to cross over to Israel, to, to their promised land. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm standing here to, to inform you that Christ came and became that Lamb of God. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Your sin was put upon him. Your, your judgment was put upon you. Jesus had to die. If not that, you had to die. Do you understand? Our problems is not having money. Because the, the, we, we have reduced the, our problems to, to the material world. And we think if, if we get enough money, if we get more comfort, maybe the rest of these things will get away. If we have life insurance or medical insurance, if we have life savings, we shall never never get sick or die young. But I stand here to tell you that the source of every human problem is a, is a problem called sin. If you don't deal with it, death, sickness, and poverty will always be part of your life. But the removal of sin is also the beginning of a deliverance that goes on as we continue to work with God. It is not a one-time experience. It is a process that we walk on a daily basis getting from a sinful world going to a, a, a life that is without sin. Because I've read this for you because salvation in Uganda the salvation we are talking about is coming out of sin. Not just coming to these temporary churches or to live a religion. The reason why we are called because we understood that all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. Why we understand that the suffering of the, the suffering of our peace and all the tears and sorrow that is brought by Christ sin Christ who is called Jesus upon it. but he didn't carry them because he was, he was, he was responsible for them. it was because of love that he came and stood in your place the God the judge had to judge his case so when the day of judgment for you and I came and we stood before this righteous judge and we are Guilty from everything we had done. A man that knew no sin became sin for last and took in your, to stood in your place and he asked you, Are you guilty? And cross raises his hand and says, I am for him. I am for me. He took my place. He took your place. You remember the story of a man called Balabas. Balabas. 
Bible ye gamanti yali yakunga abantu ne batabanabwe. The Bible says Barabbas had mobilized other people to kill other people. Kuna kolonga Pilato anonya mangeza gata Yesu agende. On that day when Pilate was looking for a chance to release Jesus. Na yote muono na babuza anti ku Kristo ne balabamba we kan. He got out this murder and asked the people uh, for, uh, of, 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 of Barabbas and Christ whom should I give? Abantu ne bagamba tuwe balaba. Then people said give us back. Na babuza na yona koze chi. He said what has this one done? I have not found any evil in him. But according to Isaiah chapter 54, Jesus took away the, the, the That's why the that man walked free. That was an example of freedom. Let me tell you, church, if we learn that sin is the main cause of every problem we go through, you start to pay attention to your personal life. On a daily basis and deal with personal sin. Your problem is not your neighbor. Your problem is not what you don't have. Your problem, you need to look at yourself and say, I have fallen short of God's glory. That's where I am, where I am. Go to the Rogambet, Sitia, Jamuchi, Wacha, Katonda, Yasonga, Rachin, Dinga, and for me to move from all this garbage and mess, I need to make a journey called delivery. Deliveries. Believers stay in sin and they look for money when they are still in sin. We are no longer minding. A, 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 a believer will lie and do everything. Just That's why the Bible says some people even get to the point of death. Ladies and gentlemen, our problem is the sin attitude. And yet Jesus paid for the sin. All you need is to confess it Kuchatula. and some willing to let it go. Please change me. Brother, we are seated here, we are all saved. But I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that most of the born agains have settled just as a person decides and says, I have become saved now, I'm a religious person. But Paul tells us, you will need to fight against sin on a daily basis. He says, you have not fought sin up to shedding blood. On a daily basis, you must deal with yourself. Stop blaming others. Stop looking through the window. Go and stand in the mirror and say, I am the problem. And ask the Holy Spirit, what do I need to remove from my life? This anger, this greed, the deceit, the, 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 the jealous and envy that's eating me is a source of death, poverty, and sickness. It is being discovered that people who hold jealous and envy they are prone to the four biggest diseases that are killers. Unforgiveness brings is. People with unforgiveness, most of them will die of cancer. Many people who get sick of cancer, when you follow them up, you realize they refuse to to There's a pastor who lost a mother. They 
Omuntu yagena muguru wachi tumulotera wanu. Why are we dreaming about her? Here? No that ah, someone came and said no. The reason why that one died. Na he gave he gave him a story. And story. I said do you see this person? I said do you see this person? He never forgave that person. It caused him, it caused her to get cancer. The woman spoke in her life and said, I can never That's forgive what she that confessed. Woman. We are chattel, I will never Why forgive that woman. After two years, they, they, they discovered Why cancer. After six months, cancer was on the brains. In another three months, the woman was dead. In the next three months, we went and buried her. We went and buried her. After that, we, are us, we are dreaming about her in the sitting room. Yet the sister refused to forgive. Our calling, ladies and gentlemen, is to deal with sin. The moment you deal with sin, sickness, poverty, death, lack. No would disappear because the root cause has been dealt with. But nowadays, we are no longer talking about sin. Pastor, when did you last na, 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 Even the people who have just gotten do, saved, we do, don't know how they do, got do, saved. Do you even lead them in a prayer of repentance? You lead people into salvation. Nowadays, people say, ah, oh, well, today, I've joined you. You cannot join us just like that. How, as who? Salvation is repenting. And the day, the first day, is a journey of checking yourself on a daily basis. No one of us has reached the destination. Every day I fight with sin. I put my body on the cross every day. So that I will not be found among those that are unworthy. Every evening before I, speak, I sleep, I confess my sins. Because the Catholic said I have sinned in, in, in my in my We sin through our thoughts. We, we sin unintentionally. Therefore, do not let sin become a roadblock. You must learn how to deal with sin on a daily basis. Because that's the root cause of everything we go through. Families What spoiled our families was sin. Our fathers and great fa great grandfathers sin. That's why we found ourselves in the world. Oh, we found ourselves in the something. You are dreaming about, uh, about snakes. Some of you even today. You are in a pit. You have not yet come out. But God is trying to go through. You are starting to see sunshine from the pit. But the reason why you went into that pit wasn't. Sin can destroy a nation. Sin can destroy a family. Once someone desires to deal with sin. It is a day of salvation. Salvation begins at the confession of your sin. That's why Romans 8 and 10 says that if, if any person believes that Jesus died and is the son of God who takes him to that one will be saved. 
You just believe with your heart to be given right no away. Away. Then you confess with your mouth to be given What do you confess? Is that I'm sinful. I'm sinful. But Christ carried my sin. Then God gets his eyes and, and he asks Jesus, did you pay for this one? For Jesus to accept that you pay for your sins, you have to confess no, that it's God. With a heart that is willing that what I've done is sin and I will not do it again. The problem with born again the government, the government, is sin. Non the government, si non la e the Our problem is sin. If we come back to, to, to a place of repentance, you're going to be amazed. Once you start pursuing a life of righteousness, the Bible says whoever covers his sin will never be blessed. I have walked with God for a few years. And I can tell you, and can tell you brothers and sisters, a few times I've tried to cover my sin. Everything I've done ended up in a loss. But the person who is in sin has, has died away. Because somewhere there is a covered sin that needs to be uncovered. But believers now we think when you bring others around us we will be okay the Bible has told us he took he was bruised smitten afflicted for what? for your transgression the first step that you need to take for your salvation and deliverance is to admit that you are a sinner and this is not a once, a, a once in a lifetime this is a daily process I'm not telling you things that I do not do on a daily basis I confess my sins and I check my soul I tell my people at home please forgive me then I say God have my support I thought badly about that one I spoke badly about that one I should have never said what I said I should have never thought what I thought but I plead the blood of Jesus over my mind I plead the blood of Jesus over the way I handled my finances I plead the blood of Jesus over the way I responded to my wife Holy Spirit have mercy on me and forgive me everyone who confesses this the Bible says will be forgiven. Everyone who covers it will never be blessed. I've brought for you good news. Christ died and he rose again on Sunday. Uh, victory is in living sin. And you cannot live sin unless if you confess that Jesus took it away. He himself he gives you power to overcome it. Really, I wouldn't be here if I didn't understand the revelation in forgiveness, the power in the cross, the power in the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Demons. The moment they see sin in your they life, are going to they will attack you. They will attack your children. They will attack your children. They will attack your children. They will bring rats and, 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 and bedbugs. All those are signs of sin. They spread bedbugs and they don't, they don't go. They chase away rats and they never leave. You buy a pussycat, you wake up when the, cut, the, the, the rats are on the cut. 
HIV sin katonda chino mwenze nya HIV nchi koze me have done sin na yebi zivu ebi vudenze mkwono but the problems I've got from sin bie 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 genze bingo wa kuchibi are the things that have chased me away from sin ni ngamba kando kokebo lilu naku I said let me get saved on a kwenye 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 Now I'm 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 going slowly I rather speak few words Kati ngenda mpola wakini njogere bigambo bitono na speak sense Nene njogere byama Mulu simchalanga agenda na ngamba lwacho siri Sometimes my wife says why are so you scared Kubanga nze ntia to use my mouth to offend others and to offend the holy spirit Okwesi tazabalala no moyo mutuko I rather keep quiet Watch it in I rather be my myself Watch it in bed If I have a problem and if I if I come out with that problem na yaba lokola basinga when he comes out you even tell him what he said and he can't remember it may I don't say anything may I have tried to practice uh, until I have, have calculated if it was told to me and it was told to me for me how, 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 Sometimes I keep quiet and don't even say out the good thing. Because I don't want to continue in the way of sin. Sin brings destruction. Therefore, in a week of remembering our Lord, I remind you, believers, salvation means living sin. When did you last confess your sin? Do you even know that there is something wrong in you? I have listened to all my weak areas. And I pay daily attention to those areas. Hey. I know my weaknesses. That's what I know that I'm short-tempered. So I avoid anything that causes anger to me. Sometimes I say let me let, me, let, me, let my soul settle down first. Then I will speak when I'm sober. Because many people here, there is a way you speak words. Even the Spirit of God goes away and goes back to Maganjo and says, hey, the Spirit of God, when well, he's not in your house, he left you out. He left you long time. And the sins of believers are not so big. Just, just, uh, just jealous. Uh, no. Believers are very jealous. I'm not saying 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 I'm They never wish for you, you, you would rather lose. You would rather all fail. At least you are all at the same level. But you try to be. Lose you lose friends. But for me, I go to a point where I say that the kind of jealous won't stop me from moving to my journey. I got, I get to Canaan. And yet for them they are still Or in the desert. When they were still taking. We all set off at the same time. We are the ones who told them to stay in the desert. Most of the Christians in Uganda told them to stay in the desert. Now we need to understand each other. 
We are all believers. We are not on the same stage. Some of you got saved. Others got saved before. But jealous. Got you on the way and we bypassed you. Don't don't your Fight with your thing and leave us with what we have. You know many times you have fasted trying to fight you. That is unjustified. The blessing of God is in living sin. The far way you go from sin, the far way you go, the, the nearer you come to your blessing. The more you run away from Egypt, the nearer you get to the promised land. Do you understand it? The, far, the more you run away from Egypt, the nearer you get to the promised land. We are not on the same pace. Some of us are faster. Others are slow. Others are yet to start. Others, others go to, got stuck in the old house. Where, where they were told to smear blood on the, on the God told them get out and go for them they stay. Pharaoh chest over after dying in the ocean. Then we went into the ocean. where many by the time we went and we were all singing one song. As we sing many of them their dead bodies were, were, were left in the Bible desert the Bible says because of unfaithfulness among us the people who left is Caleb and Joshua and those that they gave only two people entered the promised land they buying it in sense so busy from three, they say between two and three million people left Egypt. Only two made it to the promised land. Do you know why? Because the Bible says they complained and grumbled against God and they became stiff naked. Naked. And the Lord is cut at their door their bodies in the desert. May the Lord help you to believe. May the Lord help you to deal with the thing that is cut up bodies in the desert. On a daily basis I pray for God to be That my love should be from a pure heart. That my speech should be full of glory of God. That my speech, my brothers and sisters should be full of salt. That I may not cause pain to anyone. That I may not be a burden to anyone. I want to be a blessing. You know what I do? I confess my sin. And I fight not to sin again. Am I successful in some days? Some days I fail. But the blood is enough. The grace is sufficient. The blood is enough. The blood is enough. I say the blood of Jesus. One drop can wash you clean. If you only confess your sins. That's what is called salvation. On Sunday, we are going to just rejoice. There are debts are fully paid. You and I are free. Because in that courtroom, we the guilty, where we got a prayer, an intercessor that stood in our place and said I will take their place and the judge said will you pay for their sin and Jesus said yes and therefore judgment went on him he was pierced he was crowned with the crown of thorns he was undressed naked Nails in his hands and in his feet, he was smitten until he was disfigured, and that was the beginning 
of a long time suffering because him for us even if they beat us that day like ne, they did Jesus it was not enough that beating for us was supposed to last eternity every day there was no salvation without Jesus that's the, that cross that and the piercing of the and the, 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 the canes and the, 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 the nails we all had to be in that condition and even be thrown in hell for all ages but Jesus paid it all When a person comes and tells you, what's your biggest debt? Why? Because you have a debt of a hundred million. And he pays for you a hundred million. Can he fail to buy for you food? Can he fail to buy for you? That's what's happening to us. We believe that God paid the big, the, the big debt. Rent it, but he can't manage rent. He can't give you money. He can't give you money. So we start going back into our sins because we want to survive. But I paid the biggest debt. Why don't you trust me on the small one? Why don't you trust me on the small one? Seek ye the kingdom of God. I know his righteousness. I know these other things shall be added unto you. Let's turn on our feet. I don't know who I'm talking to. But I'm going to open this platform, this area here. I want to pray for someone who says, I've somehow neglected my salvation life but this week I want to get serious again just walk to the front and stand here space yourself whoever says I want to renew my relationship with God walk to the front Yansu mulu lanze Mulu jegele Omula besitani Jewe aliansibe Mulu ziwe bichi Monika kumikono jo Yansu mulu lanze Mwewa za yansu kubanga Yansu mulu Yansu mulula, yansu mulula, zi Mulu jagere, mulula besitani Mwea nyansi bie, mwume zi mwabinji Yansu mulula
the front of the cross, we confess our sin. I confess my sin. I am unworthy to be called your son. I am not worthy, but Jesus took my place. I repent of my transgression. I repent of all the sin that I've done. I repent of every iniquity. Please, Jesus, forgive me. Forgive me for everything that I've done. Knowingly and unknowingly. Cleanse me for abusing your grace. Forgive me, O God. Have mercy on me, Holy Spirit. Cleanse me the blood of Jesus. Purify my soul. Purify my mind. Purify my spirit with the blood of Jesus. Make me pure. Make me pure, O God. O God, I believe I've got some way to be there. Short of his glory. Lord, I have mercy on I repent on behalf of my brothers and sisters. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you have mercy upon me. Some of them are backslidden and done unworthy things, O God, and walked away from your grace. They have walked away from your presence. Grace, I pray for mercy. Have mercy upon your people. Have mercy upon my brothers and sisters. Receive them again. Do not forsake them, O God. Do not take away your Holy Spirit from them. Renew your steadfast love to them, O God. Renew your steadfast love to them, O God. Renew your grace to them, O God. Have mercy on them. Have mercy on these people, God. Sliding. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. 